Hello fellow gamers, welcome back to Super Mario 64. Kevin J 2010 here. In the last episode, we took care of six out of the seven stars in Tiny Huge Island. Tiny Huge Island. I decided to start this episode off in the level selection screen because one, I slightly screwed up the intro, and two, I just thought, yeah, why not? Anyway, and I just did the wrong thing, didn't I? What the heck? Just put me back in there. No, put me in there. Did the wrong thing. You want to be in small first to make Wiggler squirm. You want to make the world small first. And you better be good right here because you have to cross this camera, 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 camera. There we go. Ah! Okay. What you do is you come up here. You actually want to ground pound it right there to make all the water go away. So that won't affect anything until what the heck? Anyway, until you're back into big. Now that you're back into big, or huge island, I guess. I guess we, why haven't been calling it big? I should have been calling it huge. And if I call it big, it just makes me think of Big the Cat, who's you know stupid. Anyway. Anyway, now that it's all. Oh whoa! Can I? Okay, for a second now I'm like, what? Can I not get up here? You want to go back into this hole? You flooded my house. What? Why? Look at this mess. What am I gonna do now? The ceiling's ruined. The floor is soaked. What? What to do? What to do? <laughs> it makes me so mad. Everything's been going wrong ever since I got this star. It's so shiny, but it makes me feel strange. Oh God! Yes, we're taking on Wiggler. Sadly, Wiggler in this game he doesn't get angry like he did in later installments, where he would turn to like a choo-choo train of sound effects. And it, oh wow, you could technically get the 100 coin star while facing him. Anyway, you just want to jump on him. I can't take this anymore. First you get me all wet, then you stomp on me. Now I really, really, really mad. I don't know why I'm using such a weird voice, but Wiggler is actually a very easy boss. You just kind of jump on his head. Jump on his head. Hey, knock it off. That's the second time you've nailed me. Now you're asking for it. Linguini breath. Oh god, he's starting to jump. And he's moving fast. But you just give him a good little pop on the head. Oh no, uncle. Uncle. Okay, I give. Take this star. <laughs> I feel better now. I don't really need it anymore anyway. I can see the stars through my ceiling at night. They make me feel peaceful. Please come back and visit any time. Wiggler. Showing kids what bipolar really means. And definitely in later installments where his where his whole body would go red and his eyes would turn evil. He was basically like teaching kids what bipolarisms are. Anyway, so that star is done. We are now done with Tiny Huge Island and all the levels on the second floor. Dire, uh, not Dire Dire Dock. No Man's Land, Wet Dry World, Tall Tall Mountain, and Tiny Huge Island are all done. And that means we only have one place left to go. The very top floor of the castle. We're going to use our star to open it. I believe this one takes 50 to open. You 50 stars, you can open this one. And there are two worlds to choose from. And a bonus level and some stars you can pick up. Before we go checking any of the worlds though, I'm just going to show you guys what's right here. This is the final one in the game. You need 80 stars to get through it. Now. What's going to happen is if you don't have enough stars, the door will actually open. And when you run up here, you'll be in an endless staircase. Because we have more than 80, we can get in fine. So that's no big deal. But basically, what will happen is you'll just be infinitely running up the stairs and you'll never actually make it to the top if you have less than 80 stars. It's known as the endless staircase and there is a glitch you can use to get to the final battle beforehand. So it is possible. Mainly because if you do a 16 star run, you need to learn how to do it because you would want to get through that. Anyway, so what we're going to want to do, I believe... Well, first I'm going to pick up one star that you can get right here. Yep, here's the third toad. There's something strange about that clock. As you jump inside, watch the position of the big hand. Oh, look at what I found. Here's Mar Here, Mario, catch! Yep, got a star. We're now at the big 104. Do do that, Betty bap. Another power star. So, 
Um, I'm trying to remember. I'm probably going to pick the wrong door for this, aren't I? But which, I believe what you want to do is you want to come over here. Let's hope I got the right one. Might be able to check. Oh, I know which one it is. Yeah, this one is the right one. No, I'm in the wrong one. Dang it! This is Rainbow Ride. The final course in the game. I will do the first star here, and then I'll show you the star I meant to do. But, uh... Yeah, this is Rainbow Ride, or Rainbow Cruise, as it's known as in every game was adapted into Melee and uh, Brawl, who both have it as a playable level. Um, I actually like this level. Everyone says, like, oh, I hate doing this level. It's so hard. No, I, you know what? I don't think it's that hard at all, actually. I actually find it quite bearable, especially once you learn how to get around. Like, if you know how to long jump really well, you can actually sort of move your way around this level a lot easier than you think. And you can kill Lakitu by complete accident. Anyway, if you come over here, you're going to want to start heading up here. Now, I always end up getting the wrong star when I do the first level. It's pretty easy to to screw it up, actually, because you have no idea which, which way is really the right way. There's no signs or anything. But, yeah, this is, it's a rather slow-paced world, but... I kind of like spit when I said that, but certain stars you can actually sort of speed up the process, and I'll show you that as we get a little bit farther in. And I screwed up. Okay. I highly suggest you don't lose your magic carpet. It, it's like the last thing you want to do is to lose your carpet. Now here is why you'll often forget which way you're supposed to go. I believe this way. Both of these ways lead to a star, but I forget which one actually leads to the star that we're supposed to be getting right now. So either way, we'll get a star. And this is, like, the, one of the harder parts. Uh, okay. Um, if you drop down right here, you'll be on top of this, and there is a one-up in there. I know that for a fact, because I've jumped down there a few times. Oh, no, this... Oh, God, no, this part. Uh, you know, I always wonder, like, what is this world? Like, I don't even get it. Like, what is Rainbow Ride? Like, I get it. Like, it already doesn't make sense that you're in, like, an island that's floating. Like, with Tiny Huge Island, it's just sort of there in space. But I mean this, it's like just a bunch of random platforms just in the sky. Like, I don't I don't get it. Anyway. Um, if you stay off your... Off the... Uh, if you're off the magic carpet for too long, uh, it'll start to disappear. Don't worry about that too much. Chances are you'll manage to get back on. But if you lose it, you do have to try to find a way to get back to it. Or to get back to where it initially spawned. That was a close one. Anyway. That was weird. Anyway. So, continuing on here. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know what's been doing that with my capture card, though. Like, I mean, I don't think it's my capture device. I actually think it's my TV. You know, we want to be really careful of that. Don't want to get burned by that fire because you'll be running around too long and you won't be able to catch up with the magic carpet again. But I don't know why it does that. And... Uh, I've had, like, weeks where it won't do that. Like, for weeks, it won't do it. But then, when I... Like, the one time I start recording... Oh, nope, it screws up. I don't know. Oh, yeah, but I went to the wrong one. That's Big House in the Sky. I believe that's, like, the third one or something. Anyway, so the one I meant to do... The star I meant to do is actually over here. Because this actually is not a level. This is actually... A bonus level! Yep, this is... Wing Mario over the rainbow. Now, basically, it's just another one of these collect all the red coins, because it's the only mission they have here. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, this is one of the harder missions in the game. Why? Just, just because. It just is. I don't know why either. It really is just a hard... A really freaking hard level. You need to get all the red coins, and they're quite well spread out. You're going to want to talk to this red bomb here. Oh, can you just talk to him, please? Mario, please, just talk to him. There we go. There we go, so... <clears throat> I don't know why you have to activate the cannon in here, really. They should just let you have it. But, fine, whatever. We're gonna wanna restock our hat. And we're gonna hop into the cannon. Okay, sorry about that. My capture card did it again. This is the first time in a while it's done it, like, a lot. Like, significantly a lot. 
Oh, I'm not going to make it up to that one. But I believe there's a red coin over here. Or if it's not, it's the one up. Yeah, it's the one up. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, what you really, really, really want to be careful of here is falling. And why do you want to be so afraid of falling in this place? Because if you fall, you actually have to go all the way back to the outside of the castle. Yes, all the way back out. It's really annoying because it's like you worked your way all the way out here. And there's another cannon over here, which you're going to want to definitely use because you want to be able to... You know, it'll, it'll shoot you above everything else. There's the red point. And I did not shoot myself high enough. Oh, but I can pull back. Oh, didn't control it. Okay. I have way too much speed right now. I'm just going to warn myself about this. And I did it too soon. Oh, no, we did it just in time. When you you really want to be careful in this place because you don't want to fall just for the sheer fact that you have to go back to the outside of the castle, work your way back in. It really is annoying. It really is annoying. Okay. I know there's a red coin up here. Oh, I can see it. I'm going to make it my way up to it, though. Oh, I'm not going to make it to that one, either. I really suggest you restock your hat often because if you screw it up at all, like you accidentally, you know, use, like for if you accidentally, you know, use your hat too much maybe, you really gotta be careful because if you run out of your hat and you're stuck flying around, you really need to find your way to live and that, it, it's really hard actually. There we go. That's all I wanted to me. And I don't know why that happened, but it did, so... Not overly complaining. And the even harder part is, like, you can get a hat, and if you run out of hat and you land on a cloud that doesn't have any hats, then you're gonna be just out of luck, because you won't be able to get any. Come on. Is there a red coin over here? Yes, there is. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's six. You pause, I believe you can see some of them. No? Okay. I think one's on top of that island. Oh, shit. Oh, well, I'll just wait for this one to respond then. Hello? Hello? There we go. If that didn't respond, I would have been really concerned. <laughs> okay. I just re recharged my hat, if you will. Okay, so what islands have I not checked? I believe I've checked that one. I've checked just about all of them. Not that one over there, actually, so I'm gonna check that one. Now we're going to want to aim ourselves over for... Let's get on top of this one. Yeah, I knew there'd be one up here. Oh, another life. Sweet. Not that you really need lives, because the moment... Oh, they're sweet. They're both up here. Awesome! That saved time, didn't it? And there is the uh, star, which luckily there's a red cap uh, block up here just to make sure we don't go killing ourselves. Which, no promises, but... Oh, okay, and we got it. That was actually quite nerve-wracking, because I really did not want to screw that up. But anyway. Next time, on Super Mario 64. Although I did sort of screw up, and I did the stars out of the order I wanted to. In this episode, well, in the next episode, we are going to be taking on this level right here. This is known as Tick-Tock Clock. One of the dumbest levels in the game. And I'm going to do it because it is my least favorite world, and I'm sure you want to get you want me to get to this before I get to the other one. So I'll see you guys all next time.